Hi everyone! Welcome to the Crafty Pixie channel where we do sewing and craft projects. I'm B. If you're new or old to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. It really means a lot to me. In today's video, we're making, I know, bear with me, we're making a tree skirt. We're making a Halloween tree skirt and then on the reverse side is your Christmas tree skirt. So this is the Halloween side. Can you, can you see, it's, it's huge. Can you, can you see it okay? So this is the, the Halloween side. I was worried that this fabric was gonna be super busy, but I kinda like it. And then on the other side, here's your Christmas side. Polar bears and penguins, isn't that cute? And it fits perfectly under a huge tree. I'm not joking. Our Christmas tree and our Halloween tree is the exact same tree. This tree has lived through four generations. I mean, this thing is huge. So <laughs> this fits underneath it and you can see it. So it's nice and big. It's really, really cute. I really enjoy it. Um, you can put, you know, little closures on the back side so they close together. You can leave them alone, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's a pretty simple project, very kind of beginner, intermediate friendly, um, but it is tedious. It takes a little bit of time. There's a few pieces, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload every Wednesday at 9.15. It's not 9 a.m. anymore. Sorry. And leave a comment in the comment section down below. Without further ado, let's get some materials and get started. All right. For this project, you're going to need a few things. Um, you're going to need your Halloween fabric, which is going, you're going to have to measure... It's going to be 20 and a half inches long. The top portion is going to be three inches. And then the bottom is going to be 20 inches. And then you're going to connect your three inch mark with your 20 inch mark down at the bottom. So it makes, it makes a flat top rectangle, flat topped Christmas tree, whatever you want to do. You're going to need eight of those out of cotton. And then you're going to need eight same measurements of your holiday one. I'm using the cute little bears and penguins. All right, so eight of those. Cotton as well. And then you're going to need your clips. And then of course your sewing machine a uh, corresponding thread is as best as you can get to it and then your iron and an ironing surface a little bit of time and a little bit of patience so let's get started all right the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew all of the halloween pieces together and then all of the christmas pieces together so what you're going to do is you're going to take one Halloween piece and then another and you're going to take the side of it the, where it's the three inches to the 20 inch mark over here and you're going to line that edge up and then you're going to pin it together. You want this as even as possible okay because when we're done it's going to make a um, a circle so you're gonna come through and with your clips or pins whatever you're gonna use you're gonna clip the one side together I would start at one side and clip the beginning and then go all the way to the bottom 
and clip that just so that when you're clipping the middle it's not moving around on you so you have it as even as possible I find that the more you know I'm not gonna do just the three clips on this one I find that at least five works best for me but again it's whatever you're comfortable with make sure it's as even as possible okay and then you're going to go to the sewing machine and you're going to sew from the top to the bottom you're going to back stitch really well at the beginning and the end and you're going to use a half inch seam allowance yes a half an inch I know I never use half an inch, but I find that it works best. So I'm going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew all of the panels together for the Halloween and all of the panels uh, for Christmas, and then I'll be right back. Okay, now that that's done, you've got a little circle skirt going on, uh, or two circle skirts, I should say. So what we're going to come do now is for every single seam you made, we're now going to press it open and trim it up a little bit if we need to. And we're gonna press it open so we can seal the seams, make it nice and flat so that we can work with it when we're attaching everything. So we're gonna come through with our handy dandy iron and we're just going to sew every single seam that we made down flat. If you want to sew it to one side, you can and try to sandwich it, but then you're going to have to really be able to plan it out so that you can sandwich the seams correctly so that you're not like folding them on, you know, the same side. If you fold them open, it'll lay it nice and flat. It'll be okay. If you want to trim the seams down a little bit, you can do that too. Um, when you're doing this, we're just going to trim them down flat like that. Okay. Nice and flat. Oh, this is working great. And then on the bottom portion, right down here, you've got little tails. <laughs> a little bit just come through and snip those off so they're not hanging off the edge it'll make your seam a little less bulky when you're done all right so now just come through and literally do that to every single seam um, we'll do another one for you I mean it's not it's not rocket science, it's pretty easy to do. But you literally just come through. You don't want to stretch it too, too much um, with your hands because cotton does tend to stretch a little bit um, and if you like this video make sure you know you give it a thumbs up and everything and especially if you like my new nails aren't the spider webs the cutest thing uh, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish the seams for both skirts, and then I will be right back. Okay, the next step I'm going to try to show you as clearly as possible. This is kind of a big project. Um, so now that you've pressed all of the seams to both of your linings, you're going to lay either one that you want down flat with the right side facing up and then you're going to take the other one and with the right side facing down you're going to clip or pin the edge together 
So we're going to take this edge right here and we're going to clip the edge of the Halloween one on top of it with the right sides facing. Okay. They might be a little bit off, but that's okay. Okay, I actually think I'm going to use uh, pins this time and not clips. But you're going to line up the short edge. It's going to be very, very tricky because it's actually kind of big and I'm trying to show you. So line up the edge, pin, and then you're going to pin the whole way down. There's going to be a little bit of unevenness. It always happens with your sewing, but as long as it's not super, super off, you're okay. Okay. to keep them as aligned as possible. Okay, and then you're literally going to do the same thing to the portion that was three inches long. You're literally going to line up the seams Take your time pinning, it's it's gonna take your you a minute. Right, and then you're going to continue that all the way across the top piece. And then on the bottom, you're going to do the exact same thing. Come through, align your seams. Make them as even as possible. And pin. I like to do all of the seams first. So it keeps it nice and aligned when you're finished. And my little mouse pin cushions make an appearance.
Okay, and when you're done with that, then you're just going to come through and you're going to put a few more clips and pins in between the seams. Um, you can do your pins this way or um, sometimes I'll even do my pins this way it just makes it a little bit easier when you're when you're sewing you can just pull them out as you go so either one works for you you know whichever one you're more comfortable with i use both all right once you've worked yourself all the way around okay you're going to come to the long edge that you pinned you're going to start at the top back stitch really well at the beginning and at the end you know the beginning and you're going to come all the way down you're going to do a half inch seam allowance down the entire side across the entire bottom and then across the entire top now you're going to leave the other long side loose. You're not sewing this at all. Because what you're gonna do is afterwards you're gonna turn it right side out and then top stitch it. Make sure you back stitch really well at the beginning and at the end. I'm gonna go finish pinning, go do that, and I will be right back. Ooh, okay, we're done. It is uh Definitely a little time consuming, consuming and tedious, but we did it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, clip our corners and all that stuff. But the biggest thing is at the top where your shorter ends are, the biggest thing here is we're going to make little notches all along the edges so that we're gonna have an, as sharp of a curve as we can possibly get it without any bumps or wrinkles or anything like that when we turn it right side out. So um, what we're going to do is we're gonna take it, I'm actually gonna turn it this way. Okay, so we're gonna take it and we're just gonna clip little notches all along Especially like right here, where it bends in, um, just so that it will fold nicer. So you just come in, do not cut into your seam in any way, shape, or form. This is such a big project. Okay. Like size-wise. All right. Go along, definitely make sure you do not clip your seams. That's going to be a mess in and of itself to clean up later. The closer you get to the seam, the better the finish is going to be. And make sure that you don't cut the fabric beyond the seam, too. Uh, that would be another big mess.
once that's done, we're going to come to the edge now. And we're going to clip it. Remember, do not clip the seams. Or the stitches, I should say, not seams. I always say that. Way through. Come to the other one. All right, now we turn it right side out. Come to the, come to the space that you left open. Stick your arm all the way in. Grab and pull out. you put your hand in and push out your corners you can trim your seams down if you would like you do not have to If you're having a little bit of trouble turning them out, always use chopstick or a blunt end of something just so that you don't risk going through the fabric as much. I'm going to finish turning everything right side out and I will be right back. Okay, now that we've rolled everything right side out, uh, we're going to come through. We're going to give this a good press all along the seams. Um, you're going to want to roll the seams out so that they're as flush as possible. Because you don't want any of the the other holiday peeking in on the other one and you have it laying down especially um, at the bottom edge that's a big that's a big one you want to make sure those are really really nice and as sharp as possible so you're gonna come through and you're gonna iron those flat on the on the entire uh, skirt And then you're going to come to the side that we did not seal. And you're simply going to fold the edges in. And then follow this all the way down on both sides. And then iron it, pin it, whatever you would like. Like that. And then you're going to come through and you are going to top stitch at a 1 8 inch seam allowance along at least this side so that you seal it. Um, you can go along the top, this side, along the entire bottom, and the other side. Now that's, in, that's entirely up to you. That's a, a personal preference. So you're going to do a 1 8 inch seam allowance along that entire seam to close it up. Make sure you back stitch at the beginning and at the end of your stitches. I'm going to go iron and do that and I will be right back. Okay, when you're folding this raw edge in, you really want to make sure it doesn't have to be folded a half an inch in, um, but you're really going to want it so that they are even. Um, so I literally started at the, the smaller end 
and your pin or clip it down if you are patient enough <laughs> to roll and sew as you go or not sew um iron as you go you can do that i am not so i am literally going to pin as i go and then once i'm done i'm gonna make sure that everything is good um so literally and you know do it pretty close together because you you really want to make sure that that's as even as it can possibly go if it's not you can always take it off and readjust it it's easier to do that now than at the machine okay so i'm going to finish that up and then i will be right back all right and then once you've done the top stitching come through and give it a good final press just to make sure that we seal all of those stitches and everything and you, my friend, are good to go. Voila, you have an adorable tree skirt for Halloween, and then you flip it over at Christmas, and you've got one at Christmas time. Nice, not too difficult, it's very time consuming, very tedious, but other than that, it's not too bad. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload every Wednesday. Make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Until next time, see ya!